Hello once again YouTube and welcome back to The Domain. Today, we've got a nice little set in front of us. The turret takedown. Nothing incredibly special, but a lot of really strong points for a very cheap set. Today we will be asking the question, should you buy this set? My immediate answer is probably almost certainly you should. If you like army building, if you like cheap banished army materials to really bulk up your collection, I mean this is great. So let's break it down piece by piece and then you can decide for yourself. If you can go out and buy this for like the cheap price, it's like only like $10 or something. I mean, it's so cheap. Mega Constructs have clearly made the decision to release a couple of very cheap sets to appeal to the wider audience, to hit more stores. This is the perfect way to do it. We'll start as we always do with the figures. We've got two beautiful, super poseable figures. Mega Constructs are just treating us time and time again with gorgeous molds, with really nice paint apps. These two are a little simple, but they do have a lot to offer. The Grunt Conscript to begin with. Now, I really like the idea that the banished are all hired mercenaries. Because you gotta ask yourself, why would all of these aliens still fight for each other if there was no covenant, if there was no holy religious order? The answer is money. And this grunt is money hungry. He's a grunt conscript, and they all seem to just be working for some agreement. Maybe, maybe he's just being fed. Maybe he's just being supplied with gasoline for his tank. I don't know what his agreement is, but he's been told today to attack a Hazop Spartan head on. He probably doesn't stand a chance, but at least he's got a turret to keep him covered. And this grunt is identical to this one. This grunt, of course, included with the new mongoose. I mean, look at them. It's Billy meets Billy. They're the same Billy. And there's nothing wrong with that. I mean, certainly for grunts, grunts are probably one of the most common enemies in games to appear the exact same, so I've got no complaints about it. They could have maybe changed them up slightly, maybe included even just a, a small paint application that made it seem different in some way, even like a banished logo, anything, a slightly different color scheme, a different colored helmet to its backpack, like anything. But they are the exact same figure, and again, nothing really wrong with that. And again, a slightly different color to the Clash on the Ring Grunt, but I mean, he's pretty cool. I love any Billy the Grunts. I've got no complaints there. And then we've got the Hazop Spartan who is shooting that grunt straight in the face. He's got no chance. And this Hazop is beautiful. Mega Constructs have listened to my thoughts and prayers. Lime Metallic Green is the way forward with Spartans. It's their best look. I really think this figure pops perfectly. And not only does it work well with the recon from the Banshee Breakout, it fits perfectly with the Skiff Intercept Mark 7. They are two of the same combat team. Fantastic coordination. Mega Constructs is being praised from everyone for including all the figures in sort of the same color schemes as each other this year, like they all fit in the same battlefield, and this one fits perfectly with that Mark 7. I really like this Hazop. If you compare it to an old Hazop, like this Outland Skirmish, it just seems like a nicer designed Hazop. And it has this black highlighting running everywhere. And Mega Constructs, you know, they don't just stop with the black contrasting the green. They also have a slightly different color of like really dark green for the legs. So it really makes the sort of outer limbs pop out very nicely. They both come with desert base plates and quite a lot of accessories. We've got this barricade and a fusion coil. Now, as a long time Mega Constructs collector, I built a lot of barricades, and this one is definitely the most hollow. It's only four pieces, it just snaps together like that, there's no defining features on the back, it's not sort of fleshed out in any way, it doesn't have a bottom piece sort of holding it in place, which, I mean, it does hold in place very nicely, it's not gonna fall over, but it's super basic. I really prefer the old Mega Blocks Fusion Coil design, but this one is really nice. The two-piece plastic, it, it does fit together nicely. It's a basic Fusion Coil. You know, a lot of these items are basic. A lot of them are like nothing particularly special, nothing amazingly standout, but that's not 
necessarily a bad thing. And we've got the main piece of the package here. Yesterday I did an unboxing of this set and a build and I must say it was a very entertaining build. I do enjoy it a lot and I'm surprised that these legs are poseable. A lot of the time you find that a Mega Bloks design with legs sometimes doesn't actually fit with your display. Just the bumps on your display base plate don't fit properly but this ensures that whatever you're displaying it on you can move it and make sure that it fits perfectly. And then it's got the firing cannons, which are a fine feature. I think, once again, that the cannons do look nice because they're sort of like charged. They look like they're about to fire. At first, I was super skeptical about this design. When I saw the packaging, I thought that this piece in particular looked very barren. But honestly, it's grown on me a lot. I do like that these handlebars move at the back and that there are handlebars to begin with. A lot of the old Mega Bloks turrets, they didn't even have handles, so you really didn't know how the figure would sort of use it, you just sort of popped it in there. It does have some functionality and it does stand really nicely. This transparent tube at the bottom also fixes it in place very nicely. Honestly, the design has won me over. I really didn't think I'd like it as much, but Mega Bloks, they have designed this really nicely. And it does remind me, I mean, all of this set actually, it reminds me of a mix mash of the skiff intercept if you know what i mean because it's like that spider design so they kind of work well together and then even the turret kind of reminds me of the top of the alternate build of the skiff intercept so they kind of feel like they're the same pieces of one puzzle and that's the bell i've been ringing ever since i started these halo infinite reviews that all of the banished sets pop well with each other. It's been a while since, you know, the Covenant designs, they were all purple and that was well and good, but then we got different shades of purple. But these do feel like they are the exact same infantry units. All of these red banished designs, they feel like you're building the same army. And really, for the price point, I mean, this is like 10 or $15. That's a lot for that price. But coming back to the original question of this review, should you buy this set? If you're looking to army build or just start, like this is a pretty good introductory set. I would still recommend the Mongoose above this if you were being introduced to the line, but this is a great way to get stuck into Mega Constructs, to get your first set, or to maybe just flesh out your banished army. If you're building a diorama, it would be really cool to get a few of these, build some sort of barricade. I remember like in Halo 2 Anniversary, every time you walk into a new place, there's like three turrets on different mountaintops, you gotta take them out. So it would be cool to have these displayed across a diorama. And a fusion call and barricade is also much appreciated, even though the barricade design has been simplified a little bit. And then the two figures, while the grunt is definitely just reused from the mongoose. That is not a problem at all, especially for a grunt. And this green Hazop fits really nicely into your army and the metallic green is here to stay, baby. That's exactly what I want from my Spartans. It looks so cool. So everybody, this was another video with The Domain. Thank you so much for tuning in today and all your love and support as always. Stay awesome and the Hazop is shotgunning his way out. I mean, he's signing off. He's, he's shotgunning out. Signing off with a shotgun. There we go.